So we're about ready to get this 302 block all cleaned up, get all the grit and grime out of the uh, internal parts of the engine as well as uh, off the outside parts of the engine so it will paint up real well. So um, I already went ahead and partially cleaned this motor up because it was just so dirty I didn't want to work with it. But um, you want to make sure you have everything done that you need done before you clean it as in um, bore it or uh, as you can see these bores are freshly honed on this engine and that's uh, with a stone hone and then a ball hone to finish it off and then I also knocked out the uh, cam bearings as well so this block is entirely bare and ready to be fully cleaned before I start reassembly so um, what I like to use is this gunk engine degreaser now this is the original one just because uh, I don't need anything super high powered as this block is already pretty cleaned up um, I just need to get the bores cleaned up again and go through all that and as I said before in my previous boring videos <laughs> boring videos anyway is I'm just gonna use some soap and this wand here it kinda set it so I'm running through a bore and just keep cleaning that bore up to get all the particulate out of it so um, that's real important and you want to keep wiping around with a rag until you you don't come back with any black on the rag so um and pretty much the rest of it you want to clean it all up and then uh, wipe it all down and when you're finished spray WD-40 in the bores here and any other surface so you don't want rusting um, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep going on doing that so here we go okay so as far as cleaning the bores go I'm just gonna spray a little of this uh, gunk in here and then I'm gonna wipe that all around and I do this a few times so you want to get that all in the bore so as you can see it's kinda of turning a different color so we're still getting crap out of it out of this bore so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and uh, screw up each of these cylinder bores and we're gonna wash them out and then we'll do the rest of the motor and we're just gonna go ahead and wash them out the same way we uh, applied the degreaser we really want to get in there and scrub all around with our hands and make sure that we get all that micro particulate out that we can so again you want to check this with a rag once you get the motor all done to make sure you're not getting anything uh, still out of the bore you want those to be completely clean so that's essential for ring life and you know I just kinda go right after it just spray it all in there you wanna kinda rub around everywhere in here with your hands and get all the grit and the garbage out so as you can see I already did kind of the uh, outside of the block and got a little bit of oil on it but nothing too serious but uh, what you want to do is go around with a wire brush and a, a screwdriver and really dig all that grit out it's real important to get all that garbage out so because if you don't it's not going to paint up very well so that's pretty important but Anyway, we're going to keep cleaning here, and this should be about the uh, last round of it, and then we'll wipe it all down and take a look at our finished product. Mom always taught me to wash from the top down. That's just what we're going to do. Okay, once you have it all dried off and your block looks good, and um, you can always install new freeze plugs. I opted to keep these in because these were just fine, but generally you want to replace these. But anyway, after you got your motor all cleaned off, you want to uh, take some WD-40 
and go around all the mating services and the bores or some sort of an oil to keep them from uh, rusting so they stay the way you want them, especially the bores. And then uh, you want to blow out all your oiling holes with compressed air, so that's important to get all the crap out of there so you don't have junk when you go to fire up your motor getting up into your cam or your crank bearings and then um, finally what you want to do when everything's completed if we can uh, turn the motor over here you want to go ahead and tap out your uh, head bolt threads now the reason I don't do this beforehand um, is because once these get wet they have a tendency to rust so I, I let it dry and then I'll uh, run a tap through these so that when I go to put my head bolts in, I get accurate torque on them. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, do that. So I'll tap out the, the threads later, but for now we'll do the other things. You want to put um, oil on that so it doesn't rust, but you want to keep in mind that when you go to assemble your engine, you don't want this oil on here, so you're going to want to use a solvent such as a carb cleaner or anything of that nature to uh, get all this oil off before you go ahead and assemble your motor. But again, this helps it keep until you're ready for assembly. Okay, and uh, finally, once you've finished cleaning your engine and uh, gone through and covered everything with a coat of oil and blown out all the oil orifices throughout the motor then um, I recommend covering your block up because there's no reason letting your hard work go to waste just by dust and a garage blowing around and getting your engine all filthy so you want to make sure you cover it up pretty well um, I usually use a big extra large shirt that I slide over it and then I uh, lay another shirt over it and then tape around it in two places with masking tape then they stay pretty clean so anyway that's pretty much my take on cleaning an engine it's never failed me when I do these uh, budget motors but um, anywho that's kind of how it's done, so there you have it.